Pony Prepper Bill. Uh, just going to do a quick update. I uh, just want to thank a lot of people were asking, you know, texting me and putting messages like, you know, where you been, how you are you, and are you still, <laughs> are you still alive? I'm recording this with a phone. A lot of stuff's been going on. Been busy. Uh, had problems with my mom where she was living. Uh, she was falling and ended up in hospital three or four times. Uh, had to find that she was in hospital and then rehab. Then had to find a place for her to go and she couldn't stay at her place. She was going to come here. But, uh, you know, she needs a like 24 hour care. And there's times when there's nobody here. A lot of times there's nobody here. Not long enough, you know. But, um, ended up having to empty out her apartment. And she's been there for 20 years. You know, and she's, you know, stuff she's had from childhood and stuff. So, place was packed. Packed. I had to bring a bunch. I, like, truck and trailer loads bringing stuff here to my house and my garage. Uh... So, yeah, she's at a place now. Uh, my dad, with that last storm they had a couple months ago in Florida, destroyed their house. Uh, my stepmother's car was floating down the, floating down the street. Uh, so much stuff going on. We had somebody, a family member, move in with us temporarily. It was supposed to be for a couple months. And it's just been going on a lot longer than it should and he has a dog and you know we're like you know don't bring any animals here we got enough going on but he had a, a dog i'm like uh all right you can bring the dog here you know okay Diesel, weasel. well i don't know how old the dog is she said the dog's like 12 years old uh it's, it's a pit bull mix i don't think a pit bull lives 10 years but he's an older dog and he just follows me and my wife everywhere. Every time I go somewhere, he wants to go. I'm like, no, I'm not going to be back for hours. I can't take it, you know. Oh, he freaks out. He's in the house and wakes everybody up. If I come in or something, he's barking at the door trying to get out. So he, he hangs out with me all the time, pretty much. Ended up getting a camper so we could escape for a while. It just We got a full house. Just, the house is full. Stuff going on all the time. You know, and there's times, you know, there's nobody here, you know, but I bought a camper so we could escape. And it was in pretty good shape. The woman had it, and it was winterized before. It's just her grandkids used it for like a playhouse. Bought it, got it home. Everything seems to be working pretty good. The refrigerator, the propane refrigerator, works good. Um, I don't know about the water. It's winterized, and we got it in the summer. But the couch is, is bent on one side. It's soft on the other. I had to redo the whole freaking front. I had to rip the whole... Uh, what a pain in the ass. Haven't taken it out anywhere. I've moved it a couple of times. Haven't taken it out. But a lot of people have been, you know, asking where I've been. Are you okay? You're still alive. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Barely, but I'm here. I uh, was playing drums, uh, one of the bands I worked for back in the 80s, was supposed to be doing a reunion thing, and the drummer couldn't do it, and then he could, and then he could do it for one show, and then they were looking on doing like 8 to 10 shows, so I figured, you know, they asked if I would do it, so we were practicing here at my house in the garage, and then the singer from the thing, he's not, he couldn't do it. Or he didn't want to, or I'm not really sure. He got some health issues too. I mean, they're all older. I was the young guy. Uh, so we were trying out this other singer that did country music. He's got a lot of original stuff and everything. So he didn't really work for that, but he was looking for a band to do his stuff and record. So we were doing that here too. And then it got too much. So we were rehearsing the one band here. And then going to the singer, the country singer's house for the other stuff. 
I wasn't moving my drum kit back and forth, so I ended up buying another drum kit and cymbals and kept it over there. Oh, here comes Bob and the girls. The rooster. Just a lot of stuff going on. So much stuff. And I keep wanting to do a video, and then stuff pops up. I mean, everything got so expensive. Things are getting tight. What else? I collect popcorn machines for some freaking reason. I had an old popcorn machine I got from a place I used to go to when I was a kid that my parents used to keep their boat. And years later, you know, I ended up getting it. And it needed all kinds of work. It was destroyed. I mean, it caught fire. They had it in a barn. There was an owl living in it. I got it. I completely restored the whole thing. Then my ex-wife smashed the shit out of it and left it outside in the rain. So that's sitting in a garage, and I went to buy another one for parts. I got it real cheap. I'm like, oh, well, that'll work on the other one. I'll restore it again. The parts didn't fit. And the one I got real cheap for parts, it needed a wire. And I, I mean, I, I, I rewired it, you know, put a cord on it, and it started to work, and then it would pop a breaker. And I looked, the switch was bad. It was like the $3 switch. So I got a thousand dollar popcorn machine for parts. Well, I think I paid fifty bucks for it or something. I put like eight dollars into the whole thing. So I got that working. Still got the old one sitting, it doesn't work. And then my guitar player and bass player, they're like, Oh, well, you want a popcorn machine? There's one in our hunting club that they gotta get rid of. There's something wrong, it needs a gear, a five dollar gear. All right. I go over there, I get that big popcorn machine. I get that, turn it on, it heats up, won't turn, the motor's shot because it sat so long, it, they cleaned the outside, but the inside had all the, um, you know, oil, you know, hardens when it, when it gets cold, you know, it heats up, well, it broke the motor, the shaft in the motor was bad, I'm watching the chickens out here, so I did a motor, the motor's like a hundred and some dollars, but I have a brand new motor in the popcorn machine that I was trying to rebuild took that out put it in that one so that one works great I, I got a lot of popcorn machines don't ask me why I, I don't know it's I'm crazy I guess people collect different things I collect popcorn machines I guess I'm a lunatic now the pig is screaming oh that'll be another video yeah I'll post this and then the one about an update on stuff. Uh, chickens. You need chickens. You're going to need chickens to eat in a year. The government's going to kill all the chickens. You're not going to ever get chicken. You're not, meat's going to be $50 a pound for ground beef. Unless you're Bill Gates, you're not going to be able to have... You better start buying cows. I stopped watching all the prepping channels. The end of the world... It, it, they're going to shut the power off on the 15th of next month. On the link below, buy this food. You need to, there's for a pallet. You save $1,500 right by today. Get the frick out of here. Uh, so, yeah, this is just a quick update on what I've been doing. And hopefully I'll post videos soon. I'm going to do one after this one about the chicken coop. You need chickens. You better get chickens today. Pine Crapper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.